Now this aquarium has a massive bloom of macro algae. Now this, because it's a relatively new aquarium, it's only fairly recently had cured rock in it, so therefore relatively large stores of phosphate and so forth after the cycling of the live rock. And in response to this nutrient availability, this algae has just flourished. So the algae is going to suck up all the phosphates and nitrates. So now that the tank's starting to get more mature and we've now got corals in the aquarium, what we want to try and do is manually pull as much of this algae out as possible. Because the algae is great that it's actually sucked up all our nutrients, but now that we're, we will be start using phosphate removers and nitrate removers, we want to get the nitrate and phosphate level down too low for the algae to actually live. So the corals are actually wanting a completely nutrient-poor environment. So therefore we need to use products such as nitrate remover and phosphate remover from Ultimate Aquacare and similar products you can use. And then what they will actually do is lower your nitrate and phosphate level down so low that the algae will die. And it's much preferable to have the algae just to just pull the algae out and that way the very large stores of nitrate and phosphate within the algae are actually just removed out of the aquarium whereas if you let the algae die in the aquarium it's going to release its nitrates and phosphates into the water column therefore f not only feeding the algae that survives but meaning that you're going to have to use more of these products and you're going to have to put more effort into getting rid of the nitrate and phosphate otherwise you'll end up with a microalgae problem and that will be a visible pain in the neck and that is very easy to fix once you get your nutrient levels down but this whole process um, can be a little bit ugly until you actually get that done.